Slippery twist. <laughs> should be of use to you. Let me in the meantime introduce you to Pat O'Hare, the man I mentioned before the break, attracted all this publicity, in amongst others, the Daily Star. What a dope, the star called him. They said that he's been telling kids it's okay to use the killer drug. Uh, and Pat is a, the director of the Mersey Drug Training and Information Centre. Mm -hmm. Pat, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Um, did you tell kids it was okay to use this killer drug? No, of course not. In fact, quite the contrary. If anyone asked me should they use it, I'd tell them no. Yet, Pat, I mean, I've seen the document. I've, someone's been kind enough to type it out for me. I have to say to you that in it, you say, uh, in one section, if in doubt, ask friends who've tried a particular type of ecstasy how strong it is, what effects it had, then only try half a tablet and see how you get on. Isn't that at least tacit approval of it? Not at all, John. Basically, we live in the real world. In the drug field, we know that these things go on. We know that there's lots, probably half a million young people uh, have tried this, this drug. So what are we supposed to do? Well, if we tell them not to do it, actually, they won't take any notice of us. I mean, we know that research going back a long, long time knows that that kind of approach is actually counterproductive. And that's the kind of approach that actually does tend to attract people into something. In fairness to you, I've quoted a bit of it, so I shall quote a bit yeah, more. That, that's you exactly say, what the start is, sure. John. You say, you do say in the document that it's illegal, you can go to prison, you point out the, the medical problems, the physical problems it can bring, you do all of that. But nowhere that I saw, Pat, did you say it's wrong to do it. And there will be people watching this program I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to be too hard on you. There will be people watching this program who say, that's what you should have done. You should have said, don't do it. Well, that's their point of view. But as soon as you start saying things like that to young people especially, they stop listening to you. It's no good moralising to young people about their drug use. Even about illegal, illegal acts? Yes, especially about illegal acts, yes. Well, Barry, I mean, you've heard Barry... Um, Whose, whose lad, Glyn, died of ecstasy. Yeah. What do you say to, to Pat? Well, all I'd say to Pat and to anybody who is thinking of experimenting with drugs, yes, we must accept that drugs, it, it's a, a social disease. It's been